welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Taj with Taj Beauty Emporium, and let's just jump on in this thing. So, I am, I get to the point where I get burnt out with social media. When it comes down to all the different rules and regulations and strategies and all of that jazz that you have to put into posting and put, you know, with your page and Child, you, you know what I'm talking about. The whole nine yards, the whole shebang when it comes down to social media and promoting your business. It's a lot. It is a lot. And it could be a lot on you. And it could get to the point where you have to step back. Like, you, I go through my moments where I get burnt out with social media, but I know I'm running a business. And I know that social media, uh, right now in the day and age that we are in, social media is pretty much... It's like the leading thing when it comes down to promoting. Yeah, you have your email marketing and your text marketing. You have, you know, all these different avenues of promoting. But let's, let's be real. Social media is a big part of it. And so, with all that being said, it's like you get burnt out. I know I get burnt out with social media. Sometimes I'm just kind of like, look, I ain't got no more captions in me. I ain't got no more images. Like, I'm, I, I ain't got no more in me. Like, I get burnt out with the, the whole process of captions and I get burnt out with, um, you know, posting. And, I mean, just the whole thing, you know. I even get tired of scrolling. Like, it, sometimes it's to the point where I post and I get off. You know what I'm saying? So, what do you do when you get burnt out with social media, but you know you still got to promote your business? Well, what I do is I, um, I use a posting app. So I don't use it all the time. I only use it during those times where I get burnt out with social media and I just don't, I just don't, you know, I'm just not feeling it. You know what I'm saying? And I need a break. Sometimes you need a, you need a cleanse. You need a social media break. But if you know that social media is a big part of your promoting, of, uh, a big part of you promoting your business, then you really can't afford to just be like, I'm not going to, I'm just going to take some time off, especially if your business is not where you need it to be or where your business is not just making money while you sleep if you're still in that stage of the only way you make money is when you are present on social media present and email marketing present and all of these different things then you can't afford to be like well i'm gonna take a week off of social media um unless you just don't give a damn about your sales <laughs> you know what i'm saying so what do I do when I feel like I need a break from social media? I use a posting app. And the posting app that I use is Buffer. There's a lot of them out there. Um, I could probably think of maybe about 13 right off the bat. But there's a lot of them out there. But the one that I use is Buffer. And the reason why I use Buffer is, to me, it's easy. Um, they have different plans, but they also have a free plan. There's a few of them that have free plans as well. But Buffer, to me, works better for me. Um, so I can't really, like I said, there are a lot of posting apps out there. But the one that I use is Buffer. And I wrote down a few little things that, um, that I like about Buffer that I could share with you in case you haven't heard of them or um, if you just haven't heard of any posting apps or whatever to, uh, you didn't even know that that exists. But I use Buffer and uh, Buffer is good. You can use Buffer for um, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, um, Pinterest, and Twitter. You can't use it for, of course, TikTok or anything like that yet. Uh, I don't know if they're going to update that. And I don't know if any other apps use can, you know. But I know those are the social media sites that you can use a buffer for. And although I'm on um, all, of the, all of those social media sites, I am only active um, on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, recently TikTok. Um I tried to get all up in Twitter, but child, I understand that stuff. That's just a little bit too much for me, and it just do it's just one of the most. And and you get you. Let me tell you, the easy way for you to get burnt out with social media is when you're trying to conquer all platforms. Girl, you on Facebook, you on Instagram, you on LinkedIn, you on Twitter, you on Pinterest, you on Snapchat, you on all the. That's just too much. Get you one or two, maybe three, and. Do that, but don't be trying to be on all these different social media sites, girl, because you ain't gonna be able to keep up with that. You gonna get burnt out, okay? You gonna get burnt out real quick, and something gonna be getting neglected, okay? So 
Anyway, back to Buffer is what I use to post to Facebook and Instagram when I get burnt out. Um, with Buffer, you can literally um, you can literally put in the post your posts. You can upload your posts, your pictures, or whatever you want to use, you know, to post. You can upload your captions and your hashtags. Okay, and then Buffer has a posting schedule that they give you like a generic um, schedule. Or you can you can put you know customize it to your like so you can say I want a, I want to post every day on um, Monday through you know uh, Sunday through Saturday um, I want to post at six o'clock in the morning at a.m. I want to post at ten a.m. I want to post at four p.m. I want to post at ten p.m. like every day you can you can set how you want it and then you go in and you put in the post that you want to post. The caption and the hashtags, and when that when that time comes, the app automatically posts for you. Um, and then you can do up to so you can do up to three accounts for with the with the free uh, version of it. With the free version, you can do up to three accounts. Like I said, I only use it for Facebook and Instagram. So what I do is you load up your posts. You load up your, you put your captions or what you want to put in the time and you, and you, uh, and your hashtags and then you set it for whatever time each post, you can set it for whatever time when it posts, when that time comes, it automatically posts to Facebook. It's going to automatically post it to Instagram. You don't have to go in and do anything. It automatically posts. And so a lot of times, uh, <laughs> when I, when I get to the point where I'm burnt out and I use buffer, um, a lot of times I'll get. People to send me messages and be like, oh, that stuff you had posted, that dress you posted today. I'm like, girl, what dress? <laughs> I've been and forgot because I've already preloaded, you know, the app with the post. So it could be whatever, I, you know, however many posts that I decided to do for that particular day. I don't know which one it posts because it, it does it for me. And so that gives me a break from social media to where I'm still posting I'm just not actually active on there. Um, and then and it depends. Like, so if somebody, you know, go in and, and comment or something like that, then of course the notification comes to your phone and then you can kind of drop in and see if somebody's asking a question or drop in and see what they're liking, how's it, how your post going, you know, stuff like that. But as far as you just physically going in and have to make sure, especially if you're very adamant about the times that you post. Like if you know for a fact, I look, I gotta post every morning at 6 a.m. I gotta post every day at noon. You know, if you're one of those, then it's like I really recommend you find you a posting app to help you with that. So that because that's how that's how you can get burnt out really quick. So um with the free accounts you could get you do you can do up to three accounts um and then um, you can schedule up to 10 posts a day. So if you wanted to schedule, if you want to post 10 times a day, you can up to 10 times with the free. Child, I don't know nobody that's got, got time for all that, but you know, you can post up to 10. Um, and then, um, the, after the free, then you have what is called the pro and the pro plan is $15 a month and you can post you can have up to eight accounts on there. So if you were one of the ones that you're on Instagram, Facebook, uh, and all, you know, you got two Facebooks, you got a business and two businesses and you want, you want to post on both of them. You got two business Instagrams and you can do up to eight accounts. And then you can post up to, a, you can schedule up to a hundred posts a day. Um, and then you have the premium account, which is $65 a month. Up to eight accounts as well, and you can post um, two thousand posts a day and up to two users. So, like, if you have a business and a small business, and you, um, it's not just you operating. It's not just you. You know, you maybe you partner with somebody, or you have somebody that helps you out with your business, and you want to give them access to be able to post on social media. You can have up to two users. So the pro and the um, the pro and the free plan is just one user. But when you get to the premium plan, it's two users. And then after that, you have the business plan, which is ninety nine dollars a month. That's you can have up to twenty five accounts, and then um, two thousand posts a day, and 
you can have up to six users. So again, if you have, if you're working with someone or it's not just you running your business and all of you guys or you and someone else have access to your social medias and able to post, um, then you can have up to six, um, six users as well. But that's what I use. Like when I get burnt out with social media, I use Buffer. B-U-F-F-E-R. I use Buffer. It's a free app. Um, I have it on, um, I'm not sure. I have an iPad, but I don't have Buffer on my iPad. I have Buffer on my phone, which is a, um, an Android. Um, and the app is, you know, like I said, the app is free. So I never tried to, um, download it to my iPad. So I'm not sure, you know, but I'm pretty sure if they have plans like this, like free plans. And then there's the, uh, a pro and a premium and all of that. Then I'm, I'm pretty sure that the app, you ain't got to pay to, you know, get the app or whatever. Um, but that's what I recommend that you use if, so that you don't get burnt out with social media. Even if you just want to, um, like if you post, uh, three or four days out the week, you're active on social media. And then you take a couple of days a week and you'd be like, okay, I'm going to use the posting app. Then that helps with being burnt out with social media. Um, it's good to be on there and posting because you do want to engage. And I feel like that helps with following. That helps with sales when you're actually engaging with customers. Um, but you can still engage because once the app posts for you, if you get a like or if you get... A comment or something like that or a DM from from that from that post you still getting a notification like you still gonna get the notification to your phone unless you decide that you just gonna go all out and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let the app post for me and I ain't looking at no notifications or nothing like that then I mean I wouldn't suggest you do that but I'm just saying you're still gonna get notifications anytime somebody comment or anything so you can always drop in and engage with your following or engage with your potential customers and then dip out so, you know, do you ever get burnt out with social media? And if so, what do you do when you're burnt out? Do you just suck it up and stay on there? Because I find that when I get burnt out and I still, and I don't use the posting app and I still go in, I find myself, um, I can see the difference in, in what I post and in my captions. Like, it's almost like you could, you could just tell, or I can tell that I'm just posting just to say I post. And you don't want to do that because that, you, you just don't want to do that because... Some people may not may not see it, but if you have regular followers that are always liking your stuff and engaging and stuff, they can tell the difference. And so, also you want your captions to be able to draw business and attention to you. And when you're just posting just to be posting, you're not really putting any thought or strategy into your posting. So, I don't recommend that you just force yourself. Like I said, when I do, or when I have done it, um, I find that I just post just to say I post. And so... I don't use Buffer all the time, but I use it um, whenever I get burnt out or I use it also um, a few, sometimes I'll use it a few times out the week so that I don't reach the point of I'm burnt out with social media because it could be a lot, especially when you have more than one business. If you have two businesses, businesses, then you, you very much so can get burnt out because you're posting for two different businesses. You're posting, you probably have two Instagrams, two Facebooks. You know, and then on top of that, nine times out of ten, you have your personal as well. So, I just recommend that you, you know, find you a posting app that will help you post on your social media for those times when you get burnt out and you just don't want to deal with it. Because um, social media can be a lot. Um, you find yourself on social media and you find yourself um, kind of, kind of like evaluating your yourself, your your life, your business based upon what you see others post. And we know that social media could be a big lie. It's a big perception of reality. You know, other other people's perception is their reality. If they feel like you winning, if you whatever you post, if you posting making it look like you winning and you might not be winning, but to them it look like you winning, you winning. You know, and so a lot of times you have to catch yourself because you find yourself trying to keep up with social media. I always say I'm not going to let social media rush me. I used to do that a lot. And I find that I would get so not only burnt out, but I would feel I would get so um, like frustrated, unmotivated, um, all because I was basically basing myself off of someone else. We've all been through it. We've all did it. We've all looked at, especially if you're in like a business, um, not, 
not so much on personal. I mean, you have, do have people on personal that does that too, but I know it's very common with business owners. You really have to be careful when you're uh, following other business on business accounts um, because you'll look at it as, sometimes you can look at it, which is good, look at it as motivation. But then that dirty old enemy will get in, get in, get in, get on, squeeze on in there and make you start feeling like, you're not doing good or you're not on the right path or it'll never happen for you because you're so busy watching what others are doing. So that's another reason why, um, that's another reason why you should, you know, here and there take like social media breaks because if not, you'll get overwhelmed and before you know it, you'll start really, by the time you realize it, it's already done happened. And you'll start second guessing yourself, second guessing your business. You'll start um, uh, comparing yourself, comparing your business to other business owners and people who have probably either been in business longer than you or shorter than you. And that's another thing. You, you can see an account that you know you've been in business longer than and you'll probably feel like, well, why are they getting all these sales and I'm still trying to figure this thing out. I'm still not getting the sales. I'm still, you know, I'm going weeks without sales and stuff like that. And you really don't know what they're doing. Child, let me tell you something. I done seen it all. Okay. And I have a story to tell, but that's going to be in another video. But, um, I hope that you like this video. Um, if you like this con um, content, please give me a like, share, and be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you using a posting app, what app are you using? Are you familiar with Buffer or have you picked another posting app that you're using? What do you do when you get burnt out in social with social media? Do you continue to post through, push through and post? Or do you like literally just put your hands on and say, you know what, I'm done with social media for this week and I'll just see y'all when I get back next week? Or do you use a posting app? Like, I want to know what are you doing um, when you get burnt out? Do you ever get burnt out with social media? Be sure to drop down in the comments and let me know. Let's talk about it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.